So today is a special day, isn't it? Because it's my birthday, right? Did you know that? Yeah, after it was so wonderfully announced earlier, it's my birthday. So I've got, um, I got something here. I'm having a birthday party, and I've got an invitation for each one of you. Okay, this party is going to be awesome. We're going to have um, pop and candy and ice cream and pizza and steak and caramel lattes and shrimp and everything wonderful in life. Okay, we're going to have water balloons. We're going to go skydiving. We're going to go snow tubing. We're going to go water skiing. We're going to go golfing. We're going to play basketball. It is going to be the most amazing party you have ever been to in your entire life. Okay? So here's your invitation. Do you want to come? You want to come to that party? Won't that be amazing? Is there anyone here who's going to say no to me to coming to my party? Oh, you're not coming, Owen? Oh, man. Oh, you know, we need balloons, too, don't we? You like, you like balloons, right? Parties need balloons, so here, everyone take a balloon, okay? It's going to be such a great party. Oh, they're going everywhere. It's going to be awesome. Come and get a balloon, everyone. Come and get a balloon. It's party time. All right. Anyone need a balloon still? There we go. You know, like during sporting events, they got the beach ball hitting during the game, you know? You guys could do that during the sermon today. Just kind of keep the balloon going, right? So, man, we got a party, and it's going to be great. And you're all coming, right? Owen, did you change your mind? You are going to come still? Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, so I'm inviting you to my party, but you know what? Jesus told a story about a king who had a son who was getting married. And the king was throwing an incredible wedding party, an incredible wedding feast. And so the king sent out servants to go and tell those people who had been invited, hey, guess what? Everything's ready, so come on. Come to the wedding feast. It's all ready. Well, so the servants went out and told people who had been invited, come, it's ready. And guess what? They all said no. And so the servants went back to the king and said, King, no one's coming. They all said no. And the king was like, go out again. Go out again and tell them, hey, the feast is ready. Come to the wedding. And so they went out again. And guess what? As the servants told the people, come, everything's ready. They just ignored them. Some said, I'm busy. I got to go to my house. I need to go to my business, go to my farm. I got other things to do. And some of the people actually got mad at the servants and, and beat them up. So guess what the king did? He sent some servants out again and said, you go everywhere you can. You go find people. You invite them. I want my wedding hall to be filled with guests because this is going to be an exciting and wonderful thing. So they did. And the wedding hall was filled with lots and lots of guests, and it was the greatest wedding feast the world had ever seen. See, Jesus told that story to speak about something even greater than a birthday party or a wedding feast. He was talking about salvation and heaven. This wedding feast was a picture of getting to be in heaven with God. And this invitation that would go out was like people hearing the message of salvation. Believe in Jesus and be saved. Because it's through faith in Jesus that we have the forgiveness of our sins. And we have a right relationship with God. And one day we get to be in heaven with God. And there is no better place you could ever be than in heaven with God. And so Jesus told that story to help teach the people some very important things. And as people heard about Jesus, it's kind of like an invitation was being given to them. You know, come to the wedding. The message would come out and say, hey, we all need forgiveness for our sins. Believe in Jesus and your sins are forgiven and you get to come and be in heaven with God one day. 
So very important things that Jesus was teaching the people about, and sometimes he would use stories like a wedding feast to help the people understand some very important things. Well, thanks for listening so well. You can keep the the fake invitations to my party. We're really not going to do the things I said, okay? Although I really do want to do skydiving. But my wife won't let me. (laughs) All right? But you can keep the balloons, okay? And if you want to keep the fake invitation, you can too. But remember, if you want to be part of the greatest party and be in the best place you can ever be, which is heaven, you need Jesus. And the Bible is so clear, and it's wonderful. Believe in Jesus and be saved. Thanks for coming up. You guys can head back to your seats.